Hey there and what is up guys, today we are making a video on how to do a mock-up jersey. Alright, so as you noticed, I made a video telling you guys in the future we will have some days in shirts and beautiful jerseys and stuff like that. Yes, that is true, but I also wanted to show you guys how to make them. So in this video, we are going to show you how to do that, and I hope you really, really do enjoy this. Alright, let's get right into this. So first, all you want to do is, blah, not screw up your English. Okay, first, all you want to do is add an extra layer once you got this mock-up. You can get any mock-up from Google. It's pretty darn simple. I'm not going to lie. Um, you might come across ones that cost money, but I usually just take a t-shirt, select it. It doesn't matter. You really want a blueprint anyways if you're planning on making your own professional jerseys. This will come up with four sides, so all you got to do is look up jersey blueprint and stuff like that. But anyways, with that, we're going to continue on here because I'm getting off track really fastly. Alright. I don't even know if that was a word. Oh, well. <laughs> so, all you got to do is really, what I usually do is I just make circles. Like, go to your pointer. You can make a circle here. And uh, generally what I do is I make two circles. So, I go to fill and stroke. I add another uh, actually, you can just duplicate the letter. letter, 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 letter. You can duplicate the layer. And then all you gotta do is go in and um, make it a different one that's like black or something. Black and white, it doesn't matter. You guys, it's color choice. And what I do, like for slick little curves and stuff like that, you can go in and move, move it over and like make your own little design. Like whatever you show, like on the white, is what you're gonna get. So I like to do. Um, a little turn like that and you can select that pixel on the top and go to the white layer and cut you can hide this one and um, for this let's go for like a, a different color let's go for maybe like a grayish yeah a gray this will look very nice I hope <laughs> okay so like for instance, if I want to add a little curve, I'm going to turn it a little bit, maybe make the curve a little bit more or less. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit with those little fun tools. They look like little diamonds, you know. Now, hopefully I can turn this just like this, and I will put this right on the shoulder. And what you really want to do, this is the key part, is do multiply. That was darkened. Do multiply and uh, just bring that layer uh, bring the layers opacity down, or, yeah, the opacity. I'm still, like, working on these words so they don't get confusing. I'm sorry. And, um, you can add another one again. I like to usually duplicate the layer. And you can move them around, do whatever you want with them. I usually make them, like, for this instance, we'll do a little stripe, maybe. So we'll go up again, duplicate go up again turn it a little bit there you go I, I don't know why I put that in the way let me just move that and you can now just like merge down you know that will be so much simpler so then you can like duplicate and easily just flip it flip it over move it over that way And now, I know you're wondering, like, what the heck do I do with these random things that are flying in the sky? Well, that's easy. All you gotta do is go down to this extra layer you made previously, hopefully. And uh, you just cut them. Just cut them out. You might have to cut them twice. I don't know. Sometimes I, I usually do. That was a mistake. That was a really big mistake. Okay? And then you can cut them twice. Usually I do that. I don't know why I'm doing it in such a weird order. But now you just made, like, stripes on both sides. You can do this with the back of the jersey, too. All you have to do is press, like, you know, select your pixels, go on the other side. If you have, like, basic common Photoshop knowledge, you'll understand this. If you don't, I'll help you guys. Again, I'm there for you. Manny2K asked me, like, to help him with making something 3D the other day. And that's exactly what you guys are allowed to do because I am there to help you. You've already made a jersey. Like, look at this. You, you made, like, some lines on a jersey. You can, um add some more fun stuff 
like that. You can add a little corner. I really love to do a signature corner, like maybe just put a little circle in the corner. Like say you want to do just one of these, or whatever, <laughs> another circle. You can um, not do it on this layer. Add an empty layer again. It's very, very simple to do. Fill and stroke. You can just go to multiply after you got that layer fixed. And this being down sensitivity, uh, not sensitivity, your opacity. And um, it'll look really nice. Again, all you gotta do is just select the pixels of the jersey and just cut it right off. There you go. And there's that. Very beautiful, very easy to do. You can make jerseys for your teams and other teams. You can become a very really highly known GFX for making jersey mock ups and stuff like that. It's very, very easy to do on mobile as well. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad you guys got to uh, see this. I really want to be able to make more videos again, but um, I I'm getting there. I'm coming up with more ideas. Obviously, um, I can't get one in every day, but I mean, I just had spring break, so obviously I better get another one in there f for you guys. So again, if you want to get those jerseys in the future, make sure you guys keep on liking and sharing those videos. I will see you on the next video. I love you guys so much. God bless.